Hey peeps, earlier this week we received a new awakening, we received Egbert's awakening. Uh, so in this video we will go through all the new stuff about him and how well he fits into the current state of the game and how the game might change uh, with this new new change. Okay, so we all know Egbert is a commander, uh, we all know that he gives a lot of bowman attack but until this point he wasn't so widely used in Bowman formations just because he was lacking an awakening. So now when he has an awakening uh, we can check what he offers. Uh, and from the three buffs that he gives one of them is useless, it's fortification attack. But the other two are total defense and more Bowman attack which are quite nice buffs and at level 40 of his awakening, those buffs are 14.4 and 24%, uh, which are some quite quite nice numbers, especially if if you're running Bowman as your main unit. So Bowman players benefit hugely out of Egbert. Uh, other stuff that we get from his awakening are quite standard. We get uh, increased damage from his active skill. We get uh, his awakening, uh, his friendship, I'm sorry, his friendship stars increased by one. Uh, of course, we get the max level up to level 80 at four stars, uh, reduced cooldowns and all that, all that stuff that's usually the same. Uh, what's interesting is his four star ability. His four star ability is something like Seg's ability. Uh, it's just for Bowman and for their attack stat. It gives them, it gives the Bowman lineup 90% attack for 15 seconds. So that's not a huge duration, but the percent is quite big. It's almost 100% uh, just from this one awakening of your commanders. Okay, so now when we know about Egbert's awakening and what he can offer, let's see how he'll fit into, into the current state of the game and what changes will happen. Uh, so, first off, let's let's look at the free to play players, and more more specifically at the ones that run full band, full bowman setups. Uh, usually, those players used to run Kravras, Shayla, Sansa, Obin, and Arya Stark. Uh, but now, when we have Egbert, one of those five would have to drop out because Egbert is quite decent, uh, and in my opinion, that will be Obin, just because. His active skill uh, isn't actually an active skill, it's a passive and it's uh, it's not a battle passive. Uh, second, he gives only 30% Bowman attack, while other commanders like Arya for example, sure she gives less stats, she gives 24% total attack, but she has a battle skill that is quite, quite good and that compensates for the smaller percent. So in my opinion, Egbert would replace Obin in those formations and we will start to see more and more free to play players running full Bowman setups. Uh, when it comes to pay to win setups uh, for players that buy their commanders with black diamonds I don't think there will be much of a change because if they are not running uh, some synergy like a female synergy for example uh, they, they are most likely running commanders like Melisandre, Tion, uh, commanders that are much better than, than the free to play commanders, both stats wise and uh, 4 star skill wise. Uh, how would the game change though? Uh, if we start seeing more and more free to play players building bowmen, building trap castles full of uh, bowmen units. Uh, in my opinion, if it's a free to play player versus uh, a mid spender to free to play, uh, so someone who doesn't spend a whole salary on the game, uh, the free to play player that uh, that is you're running the bowman formation would, would be much much better off than before and we'll see a higher win rate and success rate uh, but if it's against someone that has great commanders dragons uh, has t5s etc it's it's close uh, 
it's, it's the, the chances to, to win it are close to zero either way with Egbert or without him. Even players that have uh, full uh, pay to win formations, uh, let's say weakness formation with Jamie, Drake, Enzo, uh, Lats, etc. Uh, wouldn't be able to stand against a 4-star Daenerys, for example, in a 6 million rally. They will lose it uh, either way. With, with one commander or without, it's, it's not such big of a deal. Uh, so, pretty much that's how I think the, the, the situation will change. We'll just see more and more players building bowmen, but the, the, they will be mostly free to play. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed and until next time.